We are getting uh, we are getting word that Leewood Elementary School is locked down. Yeah. Uh, so you were just, and then he came into the cafeteria and you could hear like bombs and shotguns going on. Saw some guys with guns and then he came into the, the library and shot everybody around And we thought it was like a senior me. prank or something. So we just kept watching to see what they were going to do. Bodies found dead, bullet to the head, and a pool of Kool Aid that spread communist red. They said it was a lone gunman who wore a trench coat and spoke Russian between 16 and 30 something. A converted Muslim, perfect suburban husband who was introverted but not the type that would murder someone. They interviewed and asked questions that a typical was he bully? What kind of music did he listen to? His neighbors said it wasn't in his nature when they saw him on the news in front page of the paper. He was a troubled teenager, disgruntled marine major, type B, deluxe teen taker. Stuck inside himself, we ignored cries for help, suppressed his aggression with antidepressants. No history of violence, no motive, no priors, no one knows why he went to school and opened fire. If this doesn't wake us up, I don't know what will. And, uh... I was heartened that the president uh, said that uh, we have to take meaningful actions and the only meaningful actions we can take is to be able to say Click, spin the cylinder, click the trigger with the wrist of shaky fingers aiming the gun at all those baby pictures trying to convince the man in the mirror that he's really a killer and not Michael Silver. his reflections projected on the screens an impression of a scene he ingested as a teen he posts pics of him posing with an M16 so it can be seen as he pretends to be extreme click spin the cylinder click there's no hope for society he was provoked tirelessly and wrote in his diary Filmed with poems and quotes, he wouldn't go quietly Inspired by the desire for notoriety His cries for attention recorded in a suicide message He left behind for us to find his evidence Held out his arms and fired his weapons The only thing we protected was the Second Amendment streets of Chicago, and we're, we're going to take you now to Chicago, where this past week, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, they didn't have to kill us all. And the city seems all but numb to an epidemic of violence. It's easy to demonize black poster villains in Chicago killing each other over old traditions, but when it hits close to home and affects their own children, their approach is different. Now they're open to listen, revoke decisions, willing to vote for gun control restrictions. Now it's a broken system, and one of their own a victim, the overflow spilling into the zone and districts, the color of blood's the same, no matter the tone of pigment, but we're prone to ignorance, it's grown malignant when every black man's guilty until proven innocent, the cowboys are looking for an Indian, but the murder weapons covered in white Americans' fingerprints, pretending it's not us, it's them who's corrupted, our lust for revenge makes the execution public, we call it justice. Case a germ, put them on a stake to burn and take turns shouting hate words. We wonder where this behavior's learned, feeding the flames that rage, saying they got what they deserve. And we wonder where this behavior's learned, feeding the flames that rage, saying they got what they deserve. The progressives in this country who not the gun you have in your hand, it's what you think. Mm -hmm. And if I can train them, I say go to the library, get some more ammo, you know? Yeah. And then you'll be powerful, and you'll be stronger than any gun out there, you know what I'm saying?